is up everybody and welcome back to my channel i am so excited about today's video a little birdie told me aka everyone i follow on instagram that the fall clearance is 80 percent off at hobby lobby there's also some other things i'm looking to pick up here for mine and brian's new apartment if you are new here my name is katie and i make home decor videos shop with me videos anything to do with target home goods tj maxx hobby lobby cleaning motivation decorate with me all that kinds of good stuff so if you love videos like that definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and while you're down there definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button I am dying to check out this fall clearance I'm honestly a little bit worried because the parking lot is very very full there's a lot of people in and out of this store coming out with lots of stuff so I'm really hoping there's a lot of really good stuff still in there for me to check out just in case I get any questions I wanted to let you know first off that my mask and my mask chain are from Francesca's all of my masks and all that stuff are from Francesca so I will go ahead and link these down below for you guys also my sweater is from Francesca's I just got a big order in from Francesca's they were having um 70% off and I just couldn't say no. This is the second video on my new upload schedule. I let you guys know in my last video that my upload schedule is officially Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. You can catch me in your subscription box at 10 a.m. all three of those days three times a week. I'm really excited about it. It is a lot of hard work, but I know it is the best way to be consistent and grow my channel, and I just want to provide content for you guys because I love making these videos. YouTube is my full-time job. I was laid off from Disney if you're new here and you didn't know that. Um, I was let go from Disney because of COVID. I actually haven't worked at Disney since March because of it. And I just decided to pick back up my camera and try to do YouTube full time because it was something I did like two years ago or last year. Stopped for a year just because I had a lot of life stuff going on. So I just needed a little bit of a break. And now I am back full blown, full time and really excited. So definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. You guys already know I have my Starbucks. This is my normal, my peppermint order if you guys have seen some of my other videos, but they actually messed it up and put raspberry syrup, which is my summer order, but it's okay because I actually like raspberry syrup, so it works out. But I don't want to keep blabbing on because like I said, there's a lot of people going in and out of this store and I'm dying to see what they have and I can't wait to show you everything I pick up. There will be a haul at the end of the video, so definitely make sure you stay tuned. But let's go inside and let's get shopping. So I'm in here walking around, but all I have found is this. This is the only fall clearance thing I have found so far. I think I'm gonna have to literally go up and down every single aisle, but it's not looking good. I mean, of course, I'm finding many, many other things I want, but not the fall home decor. That's 80% off. This one just could be out, but I think it just went to 80% yesterday on the 16th. So, something's not adding up, okay. I asked someone and I found the fall clearance. <laughs> this is such a fail. This is all they have left. Okay, so I finally asked an employee and she was like, oh, just whatever's at the front. So it's basically just this. And then I guess whatever is thrown into this cart. Oy vey. Mm. They also do have like this aisle of stuff, but the fall tableware and fall party items are still only 50% off. I'm guessing because they're still like Thanksgiving and all of this stuff can be used for that. So it makes sense that they haven't put this down yet, but this is a fail. I did find these little measuring cups on here, but now I don't know if these are actually 50% off because technically it's like kind of like tableware. So I'm not sure. And I also grabbed a little like pie server because it matches, but now I don't even know if these are 80 or 50% off. Okay, so I think I got to the bottom of it. This platter is specifically labeled as fall tableware, so that would fall as under 50% off. But items like these like measuring spoons that I found and the pie thing, they are only labeled as fall, so that would make them 80% off. Okay, so here's the dealio. That was all the fall clearance. <laughs> but there's a lot of other stuff that I'm gonna be picking up today for our new place. So if you've shopped at Hobby Lobby, you know that like half the weeks it's like wall decor on sale and then the other half is like tabletop and home decor. I really wish that right now it was tabletop and home decor because I need more of that stuff, but this week is wall decor and we do need that stuff too. So I'm just gonna do another video in a few weeks. Sorry that I keep touching my mask. I know that it's annoying, but it's hard because they always fall down when you talk, but I'm gonna do another video in a couple weeks with all of the tabletop and like home decor stuff that I'm gonna be getting. So 
Part of me just wanted to like run out and like cancel this whole video because I just felt like it was a fail But it's not because there is a lot of other stuff I need here And I know that you guys are probably interested in seeing it So we are gonna shop around the rest of the store and I'm gonna show you everything I'm picking up that falls into the 50% off wall decor I'm not gonna be showing anything Christmas I don't think I do have a whole video that I made a couple weeks ago about all the Hobby Lobby Christmas I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards as well as in the description down below The only reason I'm sad that it's not like tabletop decor right now is because there's so much cute stuff and I know Know that they're gonna have it next time like they are pretty good at keeping stuff stocked um, I'm just really excited to like pick all of those items up and share them with you guys but there's a lot of really awesome wall decor that we're gonna be picking up as well so I'm excited about that I'm not sure like how other people shop at Hobby Lobby I like to literally go up and down every single aisle because <laughs> they have seriously so much stuff and if you don't you miss stuff so we're just gonna kind of go up and down the aisles I'll show you guys what I'm thinking what I'm picking out I'm not gonna show you the like table decor and other home decor stuff I'm looking at because I'm gonna be saving that for another video but I'm really excited to look at everything okay so we're gonna start off at like the wall ledges um, we have a wall in our new place and we want to do like an entryway thing but we don't want to do a table because it's kind of like a tight space so one of my friends gave me the idea to do a hanging ledge with a mirror or whatever we decide to put above it and Hobby Lobby actually has a really good selection of like wall ledges a lot of different like metals colors styles rounded ones ones that have like hooks and all of that stuff so there's definitely a lot of options so like I was saying they have ones that have like hooks these are like hanging hooks those are more like knobs so these are more like intricate ones and then you have more like shelving unit type ones and then over here are like the true ledges that you would just like hang from the wall they have rounded ones which is something that we were interested in but I don't know these are a little bit thin so to me they seem a little bit cheap these ones are kind of perfect I feel like it is the right length because we want to have a lot of space on each side still and they do have a couple different colors to choose from so they have like pure white more of like a natural wood which is like something I think we would go for and then a gray washed one and then more of like a brown one so definitely plenty of options for us to choose from behind me they do have even more options ones that have like metal more farmhouse ones lots of different styles to choose from like industrial could also be farmhouse just lots of different options these are definitely like the more modern ones this one is really cool it has like the gray wood two shelves with the gold I like that one a lot I really love all of the laundry room stuff I'm really gravitating towards these ones it's just tough because it's something that I really can't buy until we're actually in our apartment because our washer and dryer are actually inside of a closet so I need to wait but I want to buy those three this entire aisle is just my aesthetic I love it I'm gonna be purchasing a lot of like these types of little things when it's all on sale um, I also just love a lot of these signs. I love that piece of wall art. It is $40, so it'd be $20 with the sale, which is a really, really good deal. I think just for mine and Brian's like space and what we're going for, it would be a little bit too brown, but it could work for the guest bedroom and the office. So I think for that, I might pick it up, you know, just because. Okay, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It's pretty big, and what you do is you get two of them and put them side by side, and it looks like that. <gasps> I'm in love with this. I'm absolutely in love with all of these as well. A lot of this stuff is kind of stuff that we are looking for. This one's really cool. It like has a texture to it. So I really like these and they're also part of the 50% off. And then I really like this canvas. It's like a grayish kind of greenish color and there are several designs available. So they have like this one and then they have that one which I really like. Just a lot of really good stuff you can put side by side. I'm in love with both of these. This is really cool. It actually has glass on the inside so you can use it as like a vase or a vase however you guys say that and also this is me and Brian to AT so I find this area to be quite interesting because I love all this stuff but I never thought of it as vintage modern but I absolutely love it all of this stuff especially that I definitely think I need to buy it but all of this stuff is just so cute and they have like a little one that you can like put next to it and it's just so much cute stuff i also love this like welcome to our home sign i like that you could put it like outside of your front door and because this has like hooks on the back it's technically considered part of like 
wall decor, so that would also be 50% off. That would take this from $60 to $30, and I think it's about four feet tall. I have it up next to me. I'm just over five feet tall, so I think this is four feet tall. All of this stuff is really nice too, but this is considered tabletop decor. Definitely think I'm gonna come back for these when I come back when those things are on sale and stuff like this as well. I just love all of this. Brian is not here with me today, so I'm just texting him pictures of everything, and then he like, on we talk on WhatsApp, because he's team Android and I'm team iPhone, um, and he's able to like, put a caption on the photo, and he says like what he thinks of it, or an idea that we could use it for, so it's fun, because it's like he's here, but he's not actually here, so. A lot of stuff in this aisle is really, really cute as well. This is more like black and white with gold pops, which is, pretty perfect for what we're going for. I have my eye on this little canvas. It's just like, almost like painted with the little black flowers and then it's white on the background with the brown, so that's pretty perfect. It is $19.99, so it would be $10 with the sale. This is really cool. It's um, like wicker or like made out of rattan or rattan. <laughs> People always correct me when I say stuff wrong, which is totally fine because it makes me a better person, but this is pretty big. I don't know if you can see, like, compared to my hand, piece of wall art, it's like the rope or the rattan wicker or whatever wrapped around, like, black metal, which is really cool, and it's, like, a light brown color. I'm not sure if it's really showing up. It looks really white on the camera, but that is $80, so it'd be $40 with the sale, and I think it is stunning. I wanted to show you guys today's fit. I'm wearing this, like white sweater poncho thing with black jeans from Abercrombie, sandals from Target, earrings from Target, like I said, mask and mask chain from Francesca's, sweater from Francesca's. I feel like it doesn't look like cute in the camera, but um, I have it now in white, black, and maroon, so I obviously really love it. Honestly, it's just so easy to throw on and I feel like it looks really stylish. I, for real, am in like mirror heaven. There's lots of really fun mirrors. Sorry if that made anyone ill. I didn't think about that before I did it, but so many fun mirrors. I'm not sure which one I wanna get yet. I'm still deciding on the color. I am between black and gold. Leave me a comment down below which one you like better. Do you, are you into the new gold thing? I know it's not new. It's like coming back and I'm into it. I love it. I am a gold person through and through. So I'm really into it, but I know that like it was a thing and then became extremely outdated. And so it's funny that it's back. Like things always seem to come back into style. But personally, I'm a big fan. And I also love it with like the matte black that's very in right now. I think they just look really good together. So let me know down below if you were into it. Maybe if you're you know, a little bit more wise, I guess I'll say. If you were around when it was popular before, if you liked it or you hated it and how you feel about it now, let me know. Does anyone else kind of see it? Hidden Mickey. <laughs> I want to start featuring one in every single video. I just think that could be my thing. They have this Lazy Susan charcuterie board. I guess it's more just table decor that you can spin on a Lazy Susan, but it's really, really pretty. And I love how it has that detail and it is on the side where like you don't really have to worry about it getting super dirty and you could always wash it off, but I really like this one. This one is $59.99 and it's not included in this week's sale, but this stuff goes on sale every other week. So I would check next week or just check online before you go for when the home decor and table decor stuff is on sale and then it would be only $30. I really like these. This one would be perfect because it has the three little hooks and we obviously have three dogs and I like this one too how it says his and hers but I wish it said his hers and hers because we have two girl dogs and one boy dog this is really cute they're actually attached so it's like one big piece and I'm not sure if it is part of like the spring shop but the spring shop items are 40% off I'm guessing is this like the upcoming spring because Surely it can't be from last year. Although it is what their like spring items are called every year, but I'm not sure this might be a part of that. Oh yeah, it is. This item is actually a part of their spring shop for next year. This is $69.99, so it'd be 40% off. I'm not even gonna try to do the math. I'm sure my mom would be so proud. She's literally like if Rain Man and Matilda had a baby. She's so good at math and I'm horrible at math. So as always at Hobby Lobby, the furniture is 30% off and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. So these are actually my nightstands. A few people asked me about them in my clean with me and decorate with me for Christmas for my master bedroom and they are actually from here and I absolutely love them. I 
I'm gonna try to dig out the price tag for you, but they are always 30% off and priced as marked. Okay, this one doesn't have a price tag, but I will try to find out the price for you. Luckily, I was able to find another one, and these are $69.99. No other sales apply to them because they are priced as marked, so I think that they're a great deal. I absolutely love these, and I have baskets underneath, which I think just give it an extra little touch, and I just love them. I am absolutely in love with this sign. I love the black and white with the wood, and I love the leaves. I actually have this same, well, it's a fake plant, but a big tree in my room, so this would literally be so perfect. It is part of the Spring Shop sale, and it is $44 and 40% off and I'm in love. These lamps are absolutely haunting me. They're gold with like woven and then linen. I swear I'm gonna come back for you when you're 50% off. I absolutely love this pillow, but it's not on sale and you can't take the cover off. If you know, you know. It's so tough because our apartment is like still being built, so Whenever we wanna go, we can't, we've never been in our actual apartment. We've been in like other vacant ones and like ones on different floors and in different buildings, but we've never actually been in ours, which sounds crazy. So it's like hard to buy stuff only because like we don't actually know like what the wall space looks like and all that stuff like in our actual home. Hobby Lobby does have a good return policy. You can return stuff within 90 days. So as long as we keep the original receipt. So I am gonna go ahead and pick up some stuff today but I also didn't realize how much of the stuff I actually wanted is not wall decor. It's like other little things like table decor and like home decor. So I definitely have to come back a different time. And when I come back next time, I'll probably bring Brian and we'll probably visit our apartment complex a couple more times. We are definitely the annoying people that like go into the office and like go check up on like the construction progress all the time. We are definitely those people, but it is a very expensive apartment. So we definitely wanna make sure that we're just on top of them and like know what to expect and what we're getting ourselves into. So we just like to go and we like to like go and measure stuff. So they like let us into empty ones, like I said, but it is really hard because we haven't seen our actual apartment, which makes this very difficult. If you watched my last at home video, that looks exactly like the pillow we saw. But I really like all these things and I really like these like decorative wooden balls. They have like all different sizes. I'm definitely gonna be coming back for some of these for like, not necessarily this bowl, but like a different bowl. I really like the way that that looks. Like look at that, like how fun is that? This phone just scared the crap out of me. A lot of this stuff is really, really nice. I like this, this is cool. This little container is cool. All of these little like vases. These painted milk jugs are really neat. Those are $15.99, but if you wait till they're 50% off, that'd be a great deal. I want this so bad because it looks like my little roars. I'll insert a picture of her right where this other dog is and she's just the most precious. This looks just like her. A lot of this stuff is really, really pretty. This is definitely like farmhemian, which is what my style was when I was kind of like transitioning from farmhouse to what I like now. But I do still like gravitate towards this stuff a lot. Like all of this stuff is just so pretty, especially like that, that. Um, those are really cool. Honestly, all of it. The only thing I don't really like is that. That's like very, very farmhouse, chippy wood stuff. It's really hard to not like at the Christmas decor. And I don't know, the store seems a little bit different. Like, I've never been to this Hobby Lobby, so that might be why, but I feel like they're missing a lot of like little signs. Like I was looking for like a little like Wi-Fi sign that said like our Wi-Fi password for when we move. Um, this store is just like different. The store is actually smaller, like the Christmas selection here is way smaller than the one I did my video at. So it honestly might just be this Hobby Lobby, but mm -hmm. this is a really cute sign. It kind of reminds me of the hearth and hand signs that were on clearance recently, but this is really cute. Dog needs a walk, dog walked. I like that sign a lot. In our new place, we're gonna be on the fourth floor and we won't have a backyard or anything obviously. So it's gonna be a big change. We've been trying to walk the dogs a ton, like three or four times a day, just to get used to like having to like actually go and take them on walks as opposed to just like letting them out in the backyard. It's definitely a big change and we look forward to the day that we're gonna have like a really big backyard again, but it'll be nice like to live 
you know a little bit smaller a little bit different where we can like walk to stuff for a little while so we're embracing the change but i am a little bit worried about the dogs especially white because he's a bigger dog and i don't know i just want to make sure he gets enough exercise and i want to make sure that he's happy in his new home i absolutely love these planters this is going to match our tv stand a lot i'm going to be showing you guys that in a video here pretty soon um, because i just ordered the stuff i need to make it which sounds absolutely insane, but I'll explain more later. But yeah, the legs on this like perfectly match the legs that we bought for our TV stand. So I kind of want it. All of the planters are actually on, honestly, they look like Clarence stickers, um, but all of them are on sale and they're all really, really pretty. I really like this one as well. This one, which I already showed you. I also like this one. And then I really like this little like eucalyptus tree, but I also like this, I think it's banana leaf tree. But Hobby Lobby likes to ruin your life and put it in like a square base, but all the planters are like round and it just perfectly doesn't fit. This is the same philodendron tree that I have. It's 99, but it's 50% off, so it's $50. And it was really hard for me to squeeze the bottom of it into the basket that I have it in at my house. I mean, I got it done, but oof i was wrestling it but i absolutely love the philodendron leaves also like the banana brian likes the eucalyptus i really like the black and white planter with the eucalyptus tree i think that looks really cute together and the eucalyptus tree is more of that like sagey green color it's not as like dramatically green as that which that's a good side-by-side -side comparison it's just a little bit less dramatic i mean don't get me wrong my philodendron tree is still one of my most favorite things but this is nice for like the living room area okay i'm absolutely obsessed with this we have a really pretty island that needs like something for the middle and i think that this could be perfect i love the wood and i love all the succulents this is so perfect it is pretty pricey at 85 dollars but floral arrangements are 50 percent off and i feel like this could be so perfect i'm waiting to see what brian says but i think that could be super perfect as i could have guessed brian absolutely loves it um if you didn't know he's actually from arizona so anything to do with like cacti or succulents he absolutely loves it because it reminds him of home um i or we went to arizona like a month and a half ago and i saw my first cactus i had never been that far out west and i'm obviously from massachusetts so and we live in Florida, so I've just never seen a cactus. I've only seen like pictures or fake ones like at the stores like this. So it was wild, like literally driving down the street, it's just like a cactus. And and it was just the craziest experience. And Brian drove us straight into the desert so I could get a picture with like the tallest, craziest cactus in the whole desert. I will put the picture here so you guys can see it. What a wild experience, like to see something like that that you've only seen in pictures. I really want to visit like the Grand Canyon and all that stuff and I know that we will eventually. Um, we were just in town like just to see family, but yeah, so I absolutely love this floral arrangement. They have a lot of really cool floral arrangements here. This one looks like it's in like a seashell almost, like a half clam shell. Then they have like really cute potted ones. The potted ones like this, the little ones are definitely like a better deal. This one's cool. It looks like this was almost like hand spun and then like carved into. And it does have like a little rope. And then there's like these like little ones that are kind of cute. And then this like bigger potted one that has like a couple different types of like cacti and succulents. And it's in like a little stand. But it's pretty short, but it's really, really cute. This one is $60. Little ones like this are $20. Honestly, you would never really catch me buying anything at Hobby Lobby without a coupon because if some Something isn't on sale this week if you just wait a week it will go on sale um, but if you can't wait or if it's the only one your scatter is gonna sell out you can go on their website and pull up a 40% off coupon that you can use one per transaction um, so if something isn't 50% off and you really want it and you don't want to wait you can just pull up that coupon and at least get it for 40% off but definitely don't ever buy anything here without a coupon if it's not on sale I did actually find those like little signs that I was looking for normally it's in an aisle like on the not the back back side where the crafts are but like in the middle where the home decor is but i was able to find it here i still haven't found a wi-fi sign though i might do like one more lap and see if there's anything else um but i think my cart has enough stuff <laughs> with the sale like it doesn't really 
like matter if I get like a lot of stuff because it's all 50% off but there's a lot of really cute signs in this aisle as well this could not be more true for Brian and I we have three dogs so this is also true this is also true that's also true that is definitely true I just want to be a stay-at-home dog mom okay I wasn't able to find them but I did want to go ahead and show you what I'm gonna pick up today okay so I am going to pick up this sign it's really cool it's like felt on the letters and stuff which I really like and I just love like the colors the black and white with the philodendron leaves and the frame and the saying I just like all of it this is part of the spring shop and it is gonna be 40% off so so I think it's gonna be like $30 I don't know please help and then these are part of like hanging wall decor so I'm definitely picking these up they're just like these little like woven baskets almost and I just love stuff like this so I wanted to pick up these I'm gonna get the big one and the small one the small one with the discount is going to end up being like $12 and the big one is gonna end up being about 15 and then this is the stuff I'm getting that's 80% off like the fall clearance I'm gonna get these three utensils I just like how they have the black top and the wood bottoms they are $4.99 each and 80% off so a great deal and then I am picking up a set of mixing spoons $4.99 80% off measuring cups and this pie slicer you know I'm not sure if or when we will ever need a pie slicer but it matches it's 80% off and it's nice to have so definitely gonna pick that up but that is everything I am picking up today at Hobby Lobby I'm definitely gonna come back in a few weeks so look out for a video for that when the home decor and table decor is on sale because there's a lot of stuff I want to get from that but I definitely want to make sure I wait until it is on sale Jim, call four, register one. Jim, call four, register one, please. They have literally made 800,000 announcements <laughs> since I've been in the store. <laughs> but that is going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you also turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from me. And just leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're doing for Thanksgiving. I love to hear about it. I know with COVID, plans are going to look a little bit different for everybody. We're just having a little dinner with like the people that live in my house. And because a lot of us work in hospitality, or at least I used to, but they still do, they will most likely sadly have to work on the holiday, but we're definitely going to make the best of it. But leave me a comment down below with what you're gonna do for Thanksgiving or what your favorite like side dishes or maybe like leave a recipe recommendation something like that I love to read your comments and I reply to everyone but with that being said that is going to be all from me I hope you guys have a great weekend or whenever you guys are watching this and I will see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>